there. Thank you for joining me. This is Liz from Liz at Home. Today I'm going to be colouring with my gel crayons. That's both my Faber-Castell gelatos and my Marabou. Oopsie, they're all open now. Um, Colour Pip smoothies, not Malibu, sorry, Mayped. Um, Colour Pip smoothies. Um, I'm going to be, I did a video a little while ago demonstrating using them for backgrounds dry using these brushes, but now I'm going to be demonstrating using them as a wet medium. I'm sure there are other videos on this as well. I'm using this image that I bought on Etsy from Pretty Printable ZA um, because I was wanting to do something that fit in the, I think it was for the Happy Scavenger, I needed to find a boat and an owl still, I still need a fox, that's the other thing, and a cupcake, a fox and a cupcake, so I don't know if I'll ever find a picture of a fox eating a cupcake, I'll probably have to do two pictures, but I was quite pleased because this image had a, has a boat and an owl, and I thought it was quite a cute picture with this pirate ship and this owl walking along the beach in her umbrella. <laughs> I thought it was, it made me laugh. So I've done, I was playing with um, them and various other media because I must be honest, this is now just printed on ordinary sort of cardstock. I thought I would try them as a wet medium on normal coloring book paper. This is not as thin as Amazon printed paper, but it's very much like, say, Johanna Basford paper or that type of coloring book. And I, I was not, I was using this, my Caran d'Ache Aquarelle something or other palette, and I used the smooth side, the same side as I used for the dry medium. And then I was using my water brushes um, this one with a nice fine point and I actually to be quite honest find it easier using normal brushes and water to control the amount of water so I have a not very clean vessel of water that I have been using my palette various colors a very small little this is a Princeton snap brush in size either two or size zero I'm not sure anymore. It's all sort of gone off. I've just got this fairly rough wood left, but I like the brush. It's just one of my favorite brushes, so I tend to grab it. I do have another brush, but I've also used both other watercolors and gouache in this image, so it's not all done with this. And I just finished that. It's not completely dry yet, which was gouache, because this image had some circles of that I think were supposed to be splashes of water and I didn't really like them. Then I first went over the blue with the dry gel crayons and I got it all over this and I couldn't erase it so I'm hoping I'm going to use, I've decided, a dark enough brown for our owl's head there and her feathers and then I'm going to put her in, I want her to match the pirate ship which i think will be red and black so i'm going to i don't know maybe i'll put her in red and white or something i'll make this red as well just sort of a dark color to try and get over the darkness now um if i can't cover this with the the gelatos then i will end up having to use gouache and whatever happens, I hope you enjoy the video. So now I don't have a decent brown in the gelatos or the... I've only got this sort of brown for... with the colour peps, with the gel crayons. And I don't think that's going to cover that blue. So I'm going to mix a brown with a red and a green and see what kind of a brown I get with those two mixed. So I'm 
I'm going to get that out of the way and bring some water in and just mix these two. Getting some colour mixing here as well. <laughs> this is quite a nice dark brown that we're getting there. Make sure it's all well mixed. There we are and that should be okay. So I've mixed that and now I'm going to try just painting here. I hope that I'm in screen. I'm sorry if the lighting's not great, but unfortunately we have um, power outages at the moment. So it's a little bit difficult to film. And I also must apologize for not having uploaded another video this week. It's been... I've not had a great week. I hurt my knee and there's, um, oh, they've just been sort of things happening this week. So um, life sometimes happens, doesn't it? So forgive me for not having got a video up, but I hope that this one will prove useful. It's quite a dark coloured owl, but he's just going to be a dark owl. It's my colouring page. I can do what I like with it. So I've also been experimenting with using gouache in my... Oh, that should have been a sleeve. Oh dear, I've done it again. I wonder if I can... Lift that off. Not really. I'll just have to go over it with red. But with just using this brush, it doesn't keep adding water unless you decide to put more water on it. So I just find the water control is better with the pages. That you don't get such a very wet page. So I hope everybody's well and that those of you living in the northern hemisphere are enjoying your summer weather and that you've perhaps been on some nice picnics or outings. Have your schools closed yet for summer break or is it still about to happen? Our schools have just closed for our winter break. We have, they have a three week holiday now. At the moment, it's really cold here. Um, I suppose not cold by your standards if you live in a snow country. Um, we've never had snow here in the west, in the sort of Western Cape Town area. I can't say in the Western Cape. There has been snow in the Western Cape, and there's often snow on the mountains near us, but never snow on the ground. I was always so keen to have, I've never actually been, I think I've said this before, in a place where snow is falling. I've seen fallen snow. We've driven into the mountains to sort of see snow when it's fallen. And when I went to New York in January, it had been snowing. So there was snow, sort of dirty snow, um, swept at the sides of the roads and things like that but I've never been in a snowfall and I probably never will be. <laughs> it's something I always kind of have wished to experience. I'm sure it's probably something that many of you don't really enjoy but it's just my romantic soul always wished for it and the first time I went to England um, my husband, knowing my huge desire to travel, sent me to London. My son was living there at the time. And we went in January, end of December, January. And we thought, oh, we're going to see snow. And it didn't snow at all. It was jolly, jolly cold. But um, the week we left, it started snowing. <laughs> so... I think, um, you know, it's not really, one doesn't 
always go on holiday in cold weather because days are short and you can't really do all that much sightseeing and everything if the weather's bad so yeah I don't think it will happen for me so you can see that this is really just plain and simply painting so I am going to actually put on some music while I finish painting this little owl and then um, later on when it's dry I will be able to just do some detailing with colour pencil.
I've done quite a lot off camera now and I will be honest I didn't do a hang of a lot of it with crayons for much of it I used them for this and for this but then I went over the black I used wash for and um, the black the the tree and the coconuts and the branches I used gouache for I used gel crayon for the mountain but then I went over part of it with wash again and now I'm going to do some of the finer detailing with some shiny gel pens the dual metallics I was trying to decide what to do the skull in and I think I'm going to leave it white do excuse me I've just had a sip of tea and I'm going to turn this sideways and do the edges and outline it with this black hybrid dual metallic which is sort of silver although I have this red and black one maybe that would be better going to change my mind use the red and black one do the edges here and the wooden outline but um, again hey this is my coloring page I can do what I like <laughs> so I think this would in all honesty be would be wood but I'm just making it fantastical because this isn't a realistic drawing anyway it's got I think the elements of a comic type of drawing just sort of fun outlines which I quite enjoy how are you guys with your coloring do you find that there's only one particular style of thing that really appeals to you or are you like me where you enjoy realistic things like Teresa Goodridge and then kind of fantastical but really artwork like Hannah Carlson and Maria Trolle or do you, and then also this type of semi-comical um I don't know if comic but cartoon I think is the word I want cartoon style and chibi style pages which I also absolutely love coloring and I find that they bring me a lot of light relief because I don't get my brain my mind doesn't get in the way I also since watching color tube things have found so much joy in the color by number things which I would not really done before so I'm really enjoying so much colouring and I'm so grateful for all of you that subscribe and comment and people on Instagram that make these great buddy colours and colouring groups like Colouring Book Colour Along that have super buddy colours and other people to colour the same image with you. It makes it fun and it makes it more... Um, not such a lonely occupation perhaps that's the word I want so I'm giving him a glittery red gold nose I hope it doesn't look like his nose is bleeding <laughs> and now I think I'm going to carry that through in the umbrella no no I don't think she's a pirate I think she's just a little owl that's having a wander on the seashore and saw the pirate ship so I think I need to use different colors for that so I wanted to do some outlining of her feathers so again I think I'm going to work sideways oops I hope this is going to work I think that could be the gel crayon that it doesn't want to work on top of oh it is working now 
I was just considering going to fetch a Posca pen. Yeah, I think gel pens, the gel crayons have a certain oiliness to them. So I don't think gel, these Jelly Roll gel pens are going to work. I'm going to run along and fetch a Posca paint pen for this. I'll be back. And so we've reached the end of our little picture. I've completed it offline and I think it's ended up looking quite cute. I really do. I like the gold sun that's shining. I hope you can see that. And I've gone over the gel crayon with some pencils and then some white Posca. You can see the shiny reddish gold on the pirate ship flag and I did Posca for waves and things like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'd like to thank you very much for watching and for spending time with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye now.